Hi, welcome to the second course in the visualization sequence in the data science program. I'm Ira Greenberg. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. It's great to see you, and I look forward to working with you again. I have a unique position at SMU where I work within the art school and also the School of Engineering, and my area of specialty is really creative coding. In this course, we're gonna, we're gonna have a wild journey, really. In some ways, it's sort of insane what we're gonna do, but it should be really fun, and it's gonna prepare you, I think, in a great way for kind of a broad overview of visualization and creative coding. We're gonna begin looking back at processing our old friend, and take sort of an in-depth view, a very quick in-depth view of processing again, sort of kind of refresh ourselves, as well as looking at Java. From there, we're gonna move even deeper into C++. C++ has a fantastic creative coding library called Open Frameworks, which is modeled very much on processing Processing. We're going to do a deep dive into open frameworks over a couple of weeks and build some really, really cool stuff. And look a little bit more closely at what's happening at the memory model level underneath the hood and really understand, I think, better how Java even works. From there, we're going to kind of shoot up to the browser and we're going to look at the whole kind of ecosystem of web development and web creative coding. This is a huge, really fast developing area that I'm very excited about. Many years ago when I did some web work, we, we kind of we saw hints of what, what the world could be through the web, and I think it's really there now. We're going to look at HTML and CSS, sort of the building blocks of web development, as well as scripting, like the language of JavaScript. From there, we're going to look at p5.js, which is a wonderful language that was written that bridges pure JavaScript and processing. And from there, we're going to go into the D3 library. The D3 library is an intense, awesome JavaScript library that really is sort of the benchmark state-of-the-art for doing visualization on the web. So I hope you're really excited what we're going to cover this semester. It's going to be intense, but I really think it's going to be fun, and I really do believe it's going to prepare you for a fantastic overview of creative coding and visualization, from doing applications all the way through doing web-based visualization. So I can't wait to get started.